Well, here we are. So Motorx 2023. I'm here with my offsider, Dale Walton, that's come down with me. Morning, Dale. Morning, Howard. And we've had a couple of big days to get here. So always, you know, the day you leave, but then we got our bump in brought forward with the boss to get it in a good spot in the hall. So we were up early yesterday. So a massive day yesterday, four o'clock start, about a seven o'clock finish. So we're now down in the muscle car hall in the morning of Saturday. Yes. And we're gonna run through some cars with you. So straight off the bat, Dale, check out them back wheels. Oh. <laughs> There's some uh, potential aqua planing in the wet there. She's, uh, she's very wide. And obviously something lurking under there. And because we're in early, a lot of these guys close their cars up. Just sort of good in one way, because we can see them closed. But, um, so the 378 Donovan dry sump. dry sump must be a lot going that's on. That's a race, that's a race engine. Yep. And then a little G-pack behind it, also with a lot going on. LS in there, hiding under the bonnet. I never remember a G-pack coming out of the factory like that. Talking about LSs. <laughs> This is something different. I think we've got all the custom front end with the Wilwoods. Now, I'm not a, necessarily a Patina fan, Dale, but um, it's sort of cool in its own way, isn't it? It does look good, doesn't it? And a Jag rear end. All the fruit, as they say. Yeah. Now, we've seen this one last year, Dale, and we, on the walk in, we were sort of checking the wheels out. So what, what did you say they were there, or what? 24 inch diameter on the rear end. And 20s on the front. They are massive. And they were 15 wide or something? 15 wide. A bit, of, bit of craziness. Bigger than a 44 gallon drum. <laughs> So, a couple of hot rods here. Green's nice. Yes, it is. I think I might have seen this before because that poison ivy, that colour is not far off what the van will be. Oh, mm. I reckon. Certainly I'm, changes I'm still a lot. Fighting, in I'm the still light. finding in my mind about the colour of the trim for mine. Okay. I said to Heather, what about white? She goes, no way. <laughs> American Pontiac. muscle. Yeah. Color Pontiacs. Got the Esky with him. See the NGK Esky? Yes. Nice lines on these. Now I'll tell you a bit of a secret, followers. We just come in and started and I filmed 20 cars without the camera on. So now, now I'm doing it again. It's always a bit hard because you've seen it takes a bit of the, um, the impact away, but it's a learning curve. And we've had a couple of lot big days to get here. Morning. Now, little Mazda. Big following these, Dale. Absolutely. And rightly so. For those that watch the channel know that Steve that works with us a couple of hours each morning is known as the Rotor Man. He's got mm -hmm. a little one of these. You should uh, check out the front brakes on this. It's a Lamborghini front disc. Oh, no, really? Front, uh, front rotors, calipers. calipers. I did get a picture of them, so. Well, you wouldn't believe it, Dale. Technology again, mate. So, <laughs> yes. This time it's other people's because too much noise in the background, copyright, all those things. So Dale's come around and it's like four or five days after the event. So I don't want to cut the Monaro off, but I'll tell you the rest of the story in a minute. So, because this is your favourite, Dale. Well, it's close to it. It's it's very similar to the one I owned. It's a HT though. And but... then right next to it's another Holden that's um, pretty unique in the sense that 
It's got big wheels and all sorts of stuff going on, but it looks stock. Yeah, yeah, done a really good job. All the NASCO accessories. They're pretty cool looking thing. So, yeah, they started working the stage up and turning the music on. And of yeah. course, as we all know, we can't use other people's music without copyright. So, Louise has edited up all the footage and now we're going to do the voiceover that we would have done when we're walking around on the job. Mate, blue's the colour for this year. Blue's the thing. There's no doubt about that, and this thing looks spectacular. Blue with a white roof. A little bit like Blue Moon. It does look a bit Blue Moonish. Yeah. Shout out to Mike. Now, this one's right up your alley. Dale works at the, uh, the Drum and Golf store locally, and um, looks like he's been shopping at Drum and Mate. Yeah, we saw the golf bags and went, oh, I got excited. <laughs> now, people would have seen Terry from PPG giving me a hand with polishing and things, and we worked very closely with PPG. Terry painted this car. Oh, okay. So this was one of the cars that we talked about when we um, introduced him on the channel. And this was one he did, and he was telling me it's pretty much off the gun, you know, a couple of little D-nibs here and there. Yep. But off the gun, and I love the, the flathead with the blower. Yes. And then the um, standout wheels. So Great the hot rodders, mate, they like a bit of colour. Yes. A bit of chrome and a bit of colour. Now, I know when we were there, was trying to work out what this was, and I said, if I see the dash, I think I know what it is, and then you spotted the badge, so it was an S15. Yep. That's the same dash that I had in my Mustang. And that's why I wanted to check the dash out. Yes. Nice use of colour on this. The, the wheels worked really well with that silver. It was a good blend, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, the old HQ. Oh, my heart's racing, eh? And it looks like a full classic restoration. And I was a little bit surprised, but I mean, I'm not against it, that it's got the, the pop-up sunroof in the area and I'm imagining someone's rebuilt their original car for that to be still on it so I'm thinking that this is someone's pride and joy and I'm thinking it it's like our, our Darren Blackman he, he likes his extras yeah and but his this options. is a push-up but yeah. wasn't a factory one it wasn't a factory job but now here's the go this is a little lesson don't have a white display because mm. you've got to clean it yes this I seen this car last year on this display and I thought wow that's a big effort so yep. to lug all that in set it all up and then clean it all and then have the car at this level. I mean, the, the presentation of this car is sensational. And I think the lady was, was cleaning that the entire time we were filming, so. <laughs> and I think she'd been at it a bit before that. So big brakes, the Simmons, got a full trim happening as well. Yep, lots going on. Digital dash. So I'm not really sure um, what category this would be in, actually being in this hall, um, maybe in Street Elite. There's so many categories, they've got yes. Muscle Car, Street Elite, and then Elite, and then the Superstars, which is a pre-qualified event. So lots and lots of um, different categories to be in. Yep. And these are a couple of late starters here. So this is Saturday morning, so they're um, putting that together, and this was on, on the 12 volt stand. So I'd, I think I grabbed a bit of footage of some of their stuff, but there's um, no shortage of extras on this one. Yeah, all the fruit, as they say. Big wheels, lowered stance. I've got to say it was an interesting uh, stand. I reckon it's made out of uh, downpipe, painted downpipe. Oh guttering, really? Guttering, yeah, yeah. Well, it'll be nice and light. Yeah. You obviously got the chance to take that in because I was um, doing other things with the camera. Just like a bit of a party tool, that one, Dale. You could have your engine on there and, and start it up when you got a few people <laughs> around. The boys out at um, Silverton in Broken Hill, um, the guy that had the pub out there had a, right. a blown motor okay. on a stand and they used to fire it up out there yep. at the pub. Yep. Something different. So this is um, where all this electrics is going, isn't it? You can grab one of these engines and then buy the full loom mm. and um, adapt it in. So there's plenty of traders there and we're gonna have another segment coming up within the week or so of the trade hall and a couple of the, the outstanding cars from that yep. hall as well. I'll be having a chat with um, Adam Rogash. Yes. With the new Capri. Nice and tidy this one. So the old VL Calais, eh? Yep. 
Callow you ever with a snail. Them, no, no, I haven't owned a veal. I've owned a few of the others, but. So lots of merch. And then, of course, the, I'm trying to focus on the, the skyline, but there's a XA in the background <laughs> drawing my attention. Yes. Is that a skyline? It is. That is. That's a four door, though. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mm. So, yeah, the Shannon boys have got a very nice clean XA on there. So they're a, um, an option wheel. So they were a two-piece okay. mag wheel. So they're a steel outer with an aluminium centre right. that went all the way to the outside and they were welded in. I don't know how they right. did that. But um, that's what they did. And a cool sort of race car happening. I'm not sure what category that one comes out of. So the NASCAR look with a... Yeah, I'm guessing it's got to be an Australian one. And of course, yep. Johnny Bowes, little Tirana. John's been tied up with rare spares for a long, long time as their ambassador. Every time I ring to order some parts, I've got to listen to Johnny on the phone when I'm on hold. <laughs> he does a good job. But you can see on the stand here, their, their range is growing and growing. And, and you know, most people would know now that you know, the company that owns Repco is, is bought into to rares as well. Yep. And they seem to be developing a lot of new parts, a lot of um, Commodore parts, but also some Falcon. And you'll see here in a minute, they've got the XY guards and the XA guards. And then they're doing a lot of fuel tanks now. They're doing yes. new tanks for Commodores. I think the standard and the long range, which were um, almost unobtainable. I know David was tracking one down and bought a complete car to get one. And I think now you can see on the bench there behind a couple of tanks. So the range keeps growing all the time. Yeah, well, there's demand for it, isn't there? And there's some of those VL parts I was talking about, all mm. the window surrounds. And it's becoming pretty good, uh, pretty good quality. Yeah, they're doing some good jobs of. I mean, I make the comment all the time: without rares, um, a lot of these cars couldn't be finished. And I mean, there are some. There's always been some issues, especially with their rust repair panels, and they they. They quote very clearly that they're a rust repair section, not a replacement panel. Yep. But I mean, they um, we do use a lot of their parts in, in what we do, and especially like the interior things, door, in, internal door handles, all that sort of stuff. Yes. So now, down the back of the hall, a lot of clubs. So unfortunately, some of these guys had their ropes fairly high, which makes it difficult for me with the camera, but I've tried my best to um, capture it and not have the focus going in and out. So the Commodore Club there and, and now Falcon, this was the Victorian GT Car Club, I believe. I think there's a banner in it to yeah. reinforce that statement, Dale, in a minute. Super nice um, XR. You can see there that tape. Now, the guy that painted my original burgundy car was um, Gary Dart. And he bought one of these GTs brand new, and it wouldn't surprise me if he still has it. And it would have very few kilometers on it. Yep. And at that point, I was toying whether I would buy one, and I chickened out, and he bought one, and he's, he had it as his, okay, yep. you know, weekender car. Yep. Looks nice in the black with the gold. Yeah, the the, the car um, boys, the club boys, did a really good job of displaying them, and had a real good mix of cars too. And it. Wouldn't be a Ford Club without an XW and an XY. <laughs> I think maybe they were trying to have one of each by the look of it. It looked that way, didn't it? Yeah. So I've just got to dodge these um, seatbelt banners because the camera wants to focus on them. So I'll just come up high and... Yeah, what colour is that, Howard? You, you can educate me. Is that the violet? That'd be wild violet, wild I think, violet. by the look of it. Yep. Yep. Um, so that's the same colour as Fuzzy's you. Right, okay. Yep. Yep. And then they traditionally come with that fluoro-y Yep. Um, stripe on them, but um, Ben Ambrose had helped me with Boss XC, he put black stripes on it and it looks totally different. Now there we go, back on the other angle now, so yep. that's traditionally how they come and then they, that was optioned up with the original globes, which are the one piece aluminium globe yes. on the XYs. Yep. And a really clean Fairmont. Looks like Grandad's car. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what that colour is, Dale. I, I know that colour, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. That's the thing, the 70 colours I was...
I think in the XAB range there was like 24 colours. Right. Okay. Yeah, so there's plenty of colours. So Monaro. So we're back on the Commodore Club. Veal. Calais. Calais. And a Formula Blue Club Sport by looks of things. So if Dale sounds a little bit nasally today, he flew back from Melbourne and yeah. he might have brought something home with I him. Think I think I've got a bit of man flu, Howard. Yeah, oh yeah, well. I need to harden up. Now here's a bit of um, genuine muscle, mate. The Cuda. The big Hemi in it. I think it was a replica, but it looks looks fantastic. I mean, those 70s cars, the big, big block engine. and The wheels look a bit bigger than the originals. <laughs> Yeah, here's Walton's um, golf buggy. I, I like the Ovlovs, the old Volvo. So when I met Dale, he had a Volvo wagon. No, it was a sedan. A sedan. A, yeah. But, uh, so this one's um, LS, I believe. Yes. And we've seen that at Melbourne, and um, it actually had the bowls hat. The <laughs> yes, yes. So it was a nice Very touch. appropriate. Yep. Now, GT350. So is this about a 67 or something, Howard, around that side? Be a 6, that one. 66? Yeah, the, six, oh, yeah, there the we 67 go. had the flash down the side. Right. And so the, the, you know your Mustangs. And the Shelby's got the, the fiberglass cover mm. on the side, and the, the original Shelby's, and it's got a Paxton supercharger on it as yeah, well. Yeah, so this is the, is that the Cobra Jet? No, the Cobra Jet's right? the big block. The big block, The big right. block's in the latest. Okay. Yeah. And it looks like a nice d delete stripe GT here. So you could order a, a GT and tick the box to have the yes. stripe, no stripes. Yes. So they were known as a delete stripe. And the story goes traditionally the doctor or the, the solicitor that wanted one but didn't really want to be a boy racer back in the right. day ordered a delete stripe. Yep. So there's a few of them about. Now this car is a, a standout. Not, I've, I have filmed this before and. Um, Wonderful looking set of um, pipes and heads on it. Mm. So really? that's a Gurney Eagle engine, Dale, for, okay. for the the, um, the Chev boys. Yep. And it was developed in the 60s um, for racing and quite rare. But it's tastefully added to this car and it's just got a nice look about it, this car, with yes. the colour coordination and then the, the dashes. It's got the original GT steering wheel. The Falcon GT steering wheel, black trim. Very nice car. And, and then the boot treatment is like a restoration, which, you know me, I like that sort of look. Yep. Yeah, it was very, very clean. Very tasty. Call it done. sharp, I think, Dale. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, very sharp. sharp. Yeah. Yep. That's the, Unlike that, myself, that's okay. sharp. Yep. That look about it. It was a little bit different feel this year, how they, they seem to have less cars, but... The quality was up. The quality was definitely up. But yep. I believe that, you know, potentially the week of rain prior, a lot of the cars in this hall are driven in. Yes. You know, and people don't have trailers or the availability yep. to, to bring the cars in in the rain. And a lot of people say, well, they're a car, they should be in the rain. But I mean, the reality is, like when I had my Mustang, I could drive it in the rain. It just meant it took me a week to clean it. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. a 40 hour week, not a... Yeah, a couple big, of nights. Big job. And, and obviously these guys here are um, building their own fleet of yes. police vehicles yep. from Mad Max. And I was pretty taken by the, the model here with um, got the full clobber. Yep. The badges and all the gear. And I mean that, that movie just has such a cult following. Absolutely. And of course, if you're out Broken Hill Way, you should go and check out the Mad Max Museum. And they continue to grow and add more and more. Now, the guy was just cleaning us and he stepped out of our way and I just about fall into his stand in a minute trying to, to video it because they were a bit jammed in. There was a lot of space around and all of a sudden these two were side by side. But it's a really nice car. Beautiful paint. All the lines look good. And I wanted to get in and have a little trim. Oh, there I go. A bit of a trip. Look at that. Yes, he done a good job. Very original looking, but lots of lots of mods. So I'm becoming a bit more educated on these cars because my son and son-in-law and daughter have got a VK, 
yep. Brock look alike. And of course, the neighbour, Dave, has got a VR that he keeps showing me stuff on. I go, what do you think of this? And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, mate. Now, how clean is that? Yes. I mean, the silver stock wheels, it's probably a little bit lower than, than stock, but yep. looking extra special. And another blue four-door. With some big centre lines. I'm just waiting on the number plate to see which one. There's a couple around like this, and I'm thinking this is the one that the, the guy that owns this or his mate. Something I noticed that was a bit unusual was the fuel cap was painted the same colour as the car, but it didn't have the dress ring. No. So no. just a little bit of a different take yep. on, on um, different things. Because a lot of people said to me, oh, you know, you should paint the boss door handles and cap blue, but I'm, I like the black. Yeah. That's why we're all different. So really nice blue car with a white trim. I like the white trim with that. Now, Dale, how's that for a turbo? That's that's a that's a massive snail, that one. <laughs> that's huge. This has got the pipes out, out of the door. This is a race car, yeah. I spotted the helmet on car. the front yeah. seat. Yeah. And this is yeah, the pipe under the, the sill. <laughs> so I imagine this one doesn't see the road. <coughs> and um, it's probably making well over a thousand horsepower. It's got the cage and the full harness. Yep. And I think a shoot out the back by memory. I think you're right. There'll be a there we go. On the tow bar. You hang on. Yep. Needs one of those Jesus bars if there's ever a passenger in there to hang on to yep. that. Have a look at this wagon. And it's got really nice um, Weber set up on it. A little Windsor. Yep. Really nice looking car. Got the right sort of period correct wheels. Sun visor. It's got the, the white walls and yeah, the Venetians. The, the Venetians and, yep. a whole lot. And of course, I was looking at these thinking because Darren's got himself a 63 okay. American convertible. So it yep. look, looks a lot like an XP. Yep. So he's got that to have a little tinker with now. He's put a Windsor in it. I've only seen a couple of photos. That's a nice car. My mate Kim Hooper would like that. He's got one of them. Now, unusual colour, and of course this has got. Oh, I'm trying to. The cross flow is six cross flow, yeah. mid eighties. Yes. In that. I dare say found a donor car and went. Let's put all that in there. The two fifty cubic inch cross flow six. Heaps of torque. It's an old school car with the new school wheels. Yeah, there's certainly plenty of uh, vehicles with those wheels on them, whether you like them or not. But Yeah, I think they've had a good run on those. <laughs> Someone made a comment about um, the first video we put up of the the qualifiers for superstars that why someone would build a car of that level and put Simmons on it and I guess the thing is is if you like Simmons no matter when you're building it that's what you like yep so um, for me it's a bit the same I like a five spoke wheel yep. um, you know whether that be a globe style or whether it's a traditional yeah, it's um, hard, hard S, to get rid S of. or something I yeah. mean that's what you like that's what you yeah, like exactly and I've, I've never been a, a fan of, of Simmons but um, Look at the detail here though. They did a great I, job I think I go up inside yeah, this because I'm, I'm thinking this is pretty cool. Yeah. It's a lot of effort to make all of that that good. Here we yeah. go. Look at the trim and all in there. Yep. Very slick. That might be an option for mine, Dale. Might be. Just a little sideboard there and do the rest in paint. I know a bloke that can do a bit of paint. Very nice. That's Bench a seat, car. column auto. Take me back. Yeah. Hey. I think the level of and standard of paint in our game across the boards really lifted in the yes, last five years. Absolutely. Now I did a few of these from um, Showcars Melbourne, and it's quite amazing how much work you can put into one push bike. Oh, it's incredible. The paint, the graphics, the chrome, and all the twisted metal. So it's a little bit like the older heart, that you know, the old Harley yep. forks, and but put it into a little baby bike. And then this one on the end there. Look at the detail in this. And fab up a frame. They've gone all out. Yep. That's for sure. 
even the stand. <laughs> But then of course nowadays, the, the, the fact that all the people doing cars used to have BMXs when they were young blokes, yep. and there was that real strong BMX period of probably 10 or 15 years, you want somewhere in here I think there's a whole lot of BMXs, because it's like every car owner's got a BMX. Yep. And of course it might feel Kerjane's into that game as well. And what have we got on here? These are unusual. So these were <coughs> a, a hot rod with a complete Commodore underpinning. Yes. Yeah, so there are. And I was a little bit taken back to try and get my head around um, all the bits and pieces because the dash, the seats, and having done what we've just done, I can comprehend the complexity of the first one, but it looks like they're doing, you know, multiple runs of them. Yeah, it's like a modern take on a kit car type of idea. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Colour that, it's um, almost what I would call a brandy wine or something yes, like that. Yeah, it's very dark. So. This was even darker though. It's a, um, this I think is, it's a, a spinner. Is this a twin, twin spinner? The twin spinner. I was going, what? A what? A twin <laughs> spinner. So lots of nice custom touches as well. It's got the French headlights. I think it's had the bonnet dropped a bit as well. And of course, the cover of Street Machine's got the one from Summonats. There's a spinner on the cover of the okay. of the Street Machine mag at the moment. There you go. And I, then it, I did love the colour of this. Check out the depth of the bumper. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're into the custom car, that was very nice. The suicide doors. Well, well. Got the Focus. It has too, Dale. I just I only just noticed that. I get to see every, well, look at that paint. Yeah. It's even better in the flesh. It's a beautiful car. But yeah, it's good. So 65, 66, somewhere around there, Dale, yep. with a billet grill. What do we got hiding here, little Windsor? Well, I say little, they can get up to about 420 cubes or something <laughs> out of them nowadays. 65, the sign says. Yep. Quite unusual colour combination. Yeah, good to see something a bit different, you know. Like that? Well, that's definitely different. You don't need the sunglasses on for this MG. Yeah, they've got these high ropes again, so I think I'd jump the fence or something here to try Let and get in there and do a bit of, of manoeuvring. Because yeah. this would be, well, Dale's doing it for me. So this is um, be hand formed out of aluminium and then polished, and yep. I, I really, Love what these guys do, not this particular company, but all of these people that are basically coach builders. Yes. Um, I don't have that skill. Uh, I'd like to have that skill, but I mean, I, I guess if I spend all the time they have to develop and learn it, and you'll see next door with the motorbike that's coming up, just how they do that with the timber buck, and then they make the parts and weld it all together, and then run it all through the English wheel, and then polish it. Yeah. And um, you don't even need paint. No. Let alone filler. But that's um, just an awesome piece of work. And then of course now, and I'll get the other side, there's some design pictures of what they're building yeah, here. Yeah, some mock-ups and, and uh, renderings. So this is all, you know, hammered and rolled and pinned together. So all in clecos, making it look very smart. i take my hat off to people that can do this sort of work. Yeah, it's impressive. You know, to get the symmetry as well as, you know, you're, you're basically doing it out of... Well, that's nothing. what the buck's for. Yeah. So the buck yeah. keeps you honest, so that yeah. the panel's got to fit perfectly onto the buck. And then, of course, what we're going to end up with is something that looks like that. So I'll be real keen to see that when that gets completed. Yep. So I made sure I got the sign because I was going to go and have a bit more of a look whether they've got a page or something to see what those guys are up to because it's pretty darn impressive. If you're towing for work or play, make sure your vehicle is up to the task. Your gross vehicle mass can be upgraded to keep everything legal and above board. Find your nearest stockist at lovellsauto.com.au and talk to the professionals about getting your vehicle right for the job. Well, another blue car, Dale. Yes, blue's the thing. Blue's the thing. 
And of course, Mike from um, Lovells owns Blue Moon, so there yes. must be a tie to that with yep. Lovells being the blue logo yep. and blue cars everywhere. And of course, Lovells enable us to get out and about and do what we do, because without their support, um, I wouldn't be able to have the ability to travel so much and do all these shows, but also the editing and have Louise on tap to be able to do all that work for us. Now this one here was at Showcars Melbourne as well. Obviously we're back in Melbourne, so that's a reasonable chance. This thing has got so much done to it, it's, it's crazy. It's, so uh, the spoiler kits, the paint, the trim. Yes. Some of this outside work I thought was pretty cool, Dale, with the, the use of... Um, like etching on the... Yeah, and it'd be done, you know, with the stick on, so the yep. wrap type yep. materials and stuff, and a big stereo, and yeah, just um, so much going on with that one. Now looking at that exhaust style, there's probably something pretty big up the front. A beautiful classic black and white. Yes, running the uh, standard looking body with the... Always loved that taco in the console. I yes, thought that was a cool yeah. look. Yeah, that was a... It was, it was a good look. It wasn't real practical, I can tell you, from driving them. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, they're going to watch the road or watch the tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not both together. So we've got a five litre on there, so I wonder whether it's still got the holding in it. Let's have a look. Yeah, well, they come out with a 307 in those. They come out with a Chev in the first model HK. That doesn't look like a 307 to me. But uh, well, It could be, but... It, it looks like it might have a little bit of work. Oh, it's got a bit of work. But <laughs> I think it's a shed, not a Holden, no? That's yep. what I was Yeah, Holdens of. came out in the HTHK-HG era. So here's the... Um, the Mongoose BMX bikes. Yes. These things are worth a small fortune. A mozza. Absolutely. As they say. Yep. A friend of mine used to race BMX, and we went to a meet one day, and the prices that people had on spare parts and wheels yeah, if Incredible. You've, if you've got genuine really, really original, good yep. original parts or new old stock, it's, Long goose um, and red line. Yep. it's through the roof. And it's funny, I was talking, I, I went and seen a client that does parts for these, and he was saying that, you know, the wheels they used to throw away, then plastic wheels, now are the big the thing that everyone wants. Yep. So let's not over talk the rotor, mate. This is. Um, no. Very nice car, and I think last time I was at a show where this was there, it was covered and I only got a very little glimpse of it, so I think I've got a bit more footage this time. Because Packed these things in. have got a good following. Yes. They pack a lot into a small package. They sure do, that's a big... <laughs> the big turbo, That's a big it? turbo, isn't it, mate? <laughs> With a bit of gold added to yep. it. Yep, yep. It had massive wheels on the back of this thing too, so. But obviously it's sitting inside the original bodywork. Yeah, I dare say that'd do some good numbers. Now Dale, I know this was there last year and, I, and I'm pretty sure this picked up a um, qualifier for next year for it Superstars. Did. It did, So I don't know where they've been. I see that, um, that Maskell's getting some, a bit of a tidy up for this event. Okay. So I don't know whether they've done more work or, or who did the work or where it was from, but clearly they've got a, a big show happening with the stand and the mirrors and an unbelievable amount of engraving. Yes, yes. And I think you pointed out to me even the rotors, the face of the rotors. The disc rotor, yeah, yeah. It's, it's got engraving on the rotor. Yeah. So someone sent me a, some information the other day, they actually have an event for these up at the entrance. Okay. Um, up on the, what do you call that, the south coast, isn't the it? The central coast. Central coast, yep. that's correct. So they have a two day event up there with all the low riders and all. Right, and okay. It, it clashes with something I've already committed to, but if you're into this type of cars, just Google it, I'm sure you'll find it. I can't think of the, the, the name of the, the event, but it's at the entrance and it's pretty much low riders and, yep. um, they have all the hydraulic jump champion, yep. you know, competitions and all that sort of stuff. Looks like a cool thing. It's so there's got some, some serious bling there. Going on yeah. there. Yep. 
Now yeah, this is um, a big hitter, isn't it? The Walkie. The walkie Group A. Massive wheels. Yep. Beautifully detailed engine bay. So my first trimmer had one of these. Okay. A brand new one. Yeah. From the dealer. So you can imagine how yeah. that was. So 1988. 88, yeah. So he helped trim my original van. Okay. And then he did the door trims in Rock 1 and 2. Yep. Um, before Rod Lingard then did Rock 3. And he had one of these and, and as an everyday driver. The first time I saw one of these in the flesh back in the 80s, I wondered how they got the water out of the boot lid. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Big and catchment it, area. And it's funny, you know, that when they came out, we around the time we did Lupiori's Tirana. Yes. And he bought a set of five of those, yep. brand new from the dealer, for his Tirana. Mm. When it wasn't that difficult, you just go and order them. Yep. Now, another nice Mustang. So right hand drive, looks quite American inside with the types of seats and steering wheel. I like them wheels, Dale. They look pretty good for they that do car. Look good, they, yeah. they suit that car. And then we've got four air cleaners and we've got some fuel lines. So I'm guessing fuel injected. Got some rails running around the side. Nice 65 according to the sign and the rego. Big brakes. So that I've got an old mate with a rag on the roof. I reckon they'd had a big night. Yes. He was struggling a bit. They were struggling, the boys. That's all part of the show, isn't it? Getting away and very nice, tasteful car that one does. Yes. Good. Good to see a nice black one. So just thought I'd give you a quick breeze by the merch. I really like their shirt this year. The last couple have been a little bit how you going on, but I thought the, the colours and all on this year's shirt was really nice. I didn't even noticed the Nastals shirt in there too. Yeah. And, uh, in there? Yeah. What's there? Yeah. There you go. They probably, they, they actually did my Road to Top 60 shirts. Hmm. There must be a couple of loose ends hanging Might about. Be, yeah. Now, we had a good look at this and I first picked up the strap hanging out of the front spoiler thinking it's probably a race car. Now when we get around and get inside it pretty much looks like it is. I think it does a bit of track work this baby. Yep. You could add a cage and stuff in it. But that's a nice looking car. I like yep. that orange. It's... Now see the black stripe on the windscreen? Yes. We always ran them. Yeah. Broken Hill Way but that was the thing in the late 70s early 80s with the Yep. Bit of contact, and the, you know the old contact for doing your shelves in your covers. <coughs> oh, got sidetracked, up. Now, champagne. Champagne. So this is out of Andy's restorations up at um, Cornell mm. in Sydney, and um, these guys have done you know a massive amount of work over the years, and they're heavily involved with the Hot Rod Show, which where I'm heading up to in a couple of weeks' time up at Rose Hill. And this was unveiled and debuted at that show. And this is one of the first times I've been able to video it where the lighting suits the car. Yes. It was but because of that stunning. colour, it was quite dark at Rose Hill the first time. And then I seen it again up at um, the Hot Rod Show. Right. But in this hall, it, it really did show the paint. Yeah. Really, really nice. It was one of those colours that if you... If I've seen it photograph still shots outside with the clouds and stuff. And yep. it's so reflective yes it sort of takes it away from it but sensational car well with the focus working it's really hard when i'm doing these because i really don't want to be walking all over their carpet because i don't have the right but it was andy over the left watching me so i probably could have <laughs> there's another blue one there's another blue one darling it's um very nice XY, it's got a fair bit of engine in there, but quite a lot of nitrous hanging off it. And it's unusual that it's it's running a GS stripe. Someone stayed true to form by the look of it, yep. which is nice. It's running a full cage as well. Or a half cage at least. The taxi bar they call that bar. The it? back of the okay, seats, the taxi yep. bar. Yep.
people will know this one. Yeah, I'm just thinking, I'm making sure it was it before I opened my yep. mouth, but um, yeah, obviously a, a Grand Champ car, and I believe winner of Muscle Car at this show last year. This car is so tastefully built, it's yes. obviously highly modified, but you know, from an initial glance you wouldn't know, and I just like the fact that they've used, you know, the, the door locks and stuff are all as per original, but yep. then things like when you look in the boot, you can see the big sway bars and all that are mounted up inside the boot, and obviously a cage and the wheels, and then of course we know it's got that massive engine, run some incredible times straight off the bat at the drags. Yes, for don't a car quote, that's been... Don't quote me on a number, but it was it was fast. Yes. And for a car that's been raced and that, it just looks so good. You went to a lot of trouble after the um, the first summer nats to build an air induction system for drag right. racing. And I was curious. I hadn't seen it in real life, only on Facebook. But when I got there, it was back to the original um, stock-looking air cleaner that really looks um, very fitting and... Once again, they've done this engine bay. It's got a really big engine, but they've modified the towers and all so that it doesn't look modified. Yep. But they've been able to get that big engine in there. Now, the King GPA. Group A, yep. Yep. So, the big blown engine. So, this um, had a fair bit of work done at um, Chubby Lowe's like low fabrications and um, his team of helpers and supporters I don't know the whole story about it but I know he had a, a fair bit to do with a lot of the fab and and the the process to, to make it what it is and it's got a huge amount of small details that you don't notice on you know the underside of the boot yes. and the way the boots fitted out and then the trim and obviously to get all of those wheels and engine and all under it but still true to its form in what it looks like. Yep. You know, it still looks like a, a VN, is that the right one? That's though? the one, yes. Being the Holden Man? Yep. And then we'll go over to um, a nice HR. So looking at the number plate, it's another yep. LS. Yep, this was a beautiful colour. I really like the combination of this. So an LS with a set of rocker covers that don't look LS? Or what? Hmm. I'm confused. I need help, Dale. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm a bit of a mystery myself, but that's what it that's what it appears to be. They make us um, they make a set of rocker covers that cover the coils and stuff, and I'm presuming that's what that is. Yeah. I'm sure if someone that's watching that knows this car will fill us in on that. But it's a really classic colour combo, eh? The white roof and then the cream trim instead of a yep. white trim. Wood rim steering wheel. It's got that real late 60s, early 70s vibe about it. Oh, where am I going now? I'm heading all over the place. Sometimes I think Louise is going to cut those bits out, but obviously she was happy to see. So there you go. I'm imagining the reason it has that theme, Dale, is he's yep. the same bloke still owns it. Yep. And um, it's been the family a long time. I'm put it back imagining. to where it was. Yep. Well, I'll get to trim that out. Now, I've got to say, Dale, I've never seen this colour combo. And I see there's some artist impressions and all, so yep. it was a design, and I don't recall a race car in those colours. So no, I'm, I'm just I'm guessing that somebody decided that's what they wanted. I seem to recall that the stripe the orange or well, two-tone stripe and the blue as a bit of a like a factory type theme but obviously not exactly that color might have been in the sunbird era it could have been yeah yeah so i'm fighting with the the barriers again here with the camera so a couple of nice commodores that are all closed up so if my memory serves me correct we're in there about seven in the morning dale after yes. a big day the day before Yep. And we do that because with the video, you can't sort of wait for people to get out of your way and stuff. So I try and get in there and get a good look. And then by the time we get to the back of the hall, the doors normally open and they're all starting to flood in. Yes. It's 
it's good to see some of the cars left with the you know, bonnets open and that sort of thing. The only, the only time is if it's got a cover on it, it makes it hard, but it's generally good. One tonner. There's a bit of engine going on here. I, I, <laughs> I did see this at, um, at the other Melbourne show. Look at that. That's very impressive. I, being an old panel vanner with a, um, and a tunnel ram tunnel on the ram. first street machine yep. that um, gets the blood going a bit dull. I yep. mean, it's all different now. People, you know, the low slung engine with the twin turbos and stuff, but we still have a bit of a yearning for that height. It's a very wide wheel on the back. Yeah. And I struggled a bit here with the light. The roof didn't want to let me show you the, the graphics too well. Stand by. Well, I've gone quiet, Dar. What is it? It's another Nissan. It's a Silvio or I. It's um, not this Looking at S13 that door shape, it looks it? like a um, what we started when we were doing tailspin. The shape of that door. It's Silvio, is it? I think so. It's the same dash. It's like an S15 dash. Might be Silvio. Yeah, this is something we don't know a bit more about, Dale. This is a little bit more my my era. A HK with an LSA. Ones. That's uh, yeah. either the, is that the third one? Yeah, at least the second, but yeah. Beautiful car. I like the red highlight along yes, the bottom. Yes, very tasteful. And I'm probably going to do a U-turn in a minute, but I'm trying to get everything I can in. And we ended up stopping and having a yarn with these guys with the red HQ because I, my arm was running out of... Yes, it gets a bit heavy, the uh, camera. It does. I was going to weigh that. I reckon it's about two and a half kilo all up. But these guys were well and truly into the clean and ducking for cover, but they are a bit of a fan of the show, of the, the yep. channel. So we had a bit of a so yarn. So it's a husband and wife and the, uh, the the wife's brother owns the blue car beside him. So they had the two cars there. Been in the family a long time. I think they said it would have been in storage 20 years or something. Lucky you got the good memory, Dale. Oh, well, I've got to be there good for something. That's it. Yeah, it's surrounded by Holdens there. Eh? Yep. This is the brother's, or well, the brother in law's truck. And what do you know? It's blue. Scott, now I got a bit of footage of this last year, so he's um, been doing the rounds for a bit, but um, large amount of graphics. Yes. And then got the big stereo going. Cat on the roof. Yes. That was certainly popular when I grew up. Is that like a cat on a hot tin roof? Yeah. Four. So at this point in time, you're starting to go. How many more are there? Yes. In this have I hall? Done, have I done them all? Yep. This is a front-wheel drive, 454 cubic inch American automobile. Look at that unusual front on that. Yeah. It's really, really different. The headlights are so far into the middle. It looks like something out of. Uh, Thunderbirds, the old They're a bit uh, fun to drive because that's <laughs> caddy was a front wheel drive. Yeah. And a, only in a small block. And um, you'd this be on the lights and nail it and you'd be just sitting there with the front wheels. <laughs> going it's no quite way. funny, yeah. I like this uh, Monaro LS. That is nice. The purple and, I, and white. I like the colour. Yep. Twin headlight. The retro wheels. That so who got the, the twin headlights? That was the thing? That was the thing? Pre Premier. The Premier and the, the Stato. The Stato, yeah. yep. Yep. 
Ah, oh, this one makes me weep. So this, from what I can see, my, my limited look is a is a Bathurst. I think HK. I, I must be coming back to that. You though. must be. Yeah, you're just teasing me now. They were starting to get organised for something on the stage, and the, there was a bit of a crowd starting to get in, and I was being. Um, I'm always trying to look ahead to see where I can yep. walk next. So I dare say we're going to go back there in a minute. VK Calais. Yeah, with a big whipple on it. Yep. Whipple supercharger. Look at the plate. Yep. Oh. Whippled K. Mm. Bit of bit of work going to get that edge of bait. That whole bait will look like yep. that. Exactly right. All right. Back to my draw. Back to where we were. Now Howard asked me what colour this is, so I believe it's bright blue, but the, the Monaro colours did change their name over the different models. So you're going to do some research? I, I've been trying to do some research <laughs> now. I said to Dale, what colour is it? Well, there he goes, I, I don't remember. It's I mean, your favourite car ever <laughs> of all time and you don't remember the colour. Yeah. But the 327 had the big, in the Bathurst had the big tank. Mm-hmm. A bit of a, uh, an extra, uh, Bit of work on the suspension and then the next one was the 350 yes so another white hq nice and see that it's got the black stripes under the clear yep Dale, they would have been matte from the factory just about impossible to maintain yeah so that's it's... what we did with darren's car we put okay. the black under the clear and that's the houndstooth trim i think yeah call it with the that's inside the yep that'd be a and that's trimatic stock wheels with the, yep. the chrome dress, dress trim, which yep. I like. Bumper overriders. It's got it's ticked good. all the boxes. Yeah, mate. it's I'll got have, the wire on the on the headlight I'll have as well. That's really well done. Beautiful car. Uh, they didn't look that good out of the factory. An LC GTR. Ah. Possibly. Well, LC two door anyway. No badges for me to read. No. Dale, to know. No. It's sort of like waiting suspense, isn't it? To see <laughs> what comes around the corner to what we're going to be looking yeah. at. That's a nice clean. Yeah, the silver works very well with the, the black and the chrome. Yep. Factory muscle, is this the one we did earlier or another one? Uh, this is another one, this is a uh, oh, yeah, RT. It's not the Hemi, this is a Magnum. Yeah. RT convertible. So that would have been probably a 440 or something, I imagine. Challenger, not a Charger, a Challenger Dale. They're too many different models, see, they all sounded the same. They always remind me of the Clint Eastwood movies, those yes. cars. Yes. All the, you know, the Dirty Harry and the, yep. all those, yep. Magnum Force, all that stuff. Righto, so a few late models now. So we're back down the club area where they, um, the HSV boys. Boys, yep. Who's? Who's? A senator. Who's yep. car? Yes, it is. These things make so much power so easy, don't oh, they? All these late model cars. Ridiculous. Crazy. There's another and review. And of course, collector's items now that yep. they're not made anymore. Yep. I mean, I know my, even my old youth, I don't think it's doubled in value since I've had it because people still want one and you can't get one. So it's sort of like they're all getting put away in sheds. Demand is out stripping supply. It's a bit of... Um, yeah. There's a lot going on Happening with the... Um, yeah. Throttle body. The, yeah, the intake side yeah. of that. This is a nice looking car. So the unusual hood treatment. Yeah. I'm not sure whether that's... It, it looks, looks like, a bit mopar -y. It does look very mopar -y. That's, that's what I was thinking. It's got the, the nice centre lines, but it looks like it's got a... It's a nice, nice green HQ, that might be one, Joel doesn't know what colour he's going to do is yet, so yeah. that might be one to yeah. have a look at. Yeah. Lime green. he probably got not a chance. <laughs> Beautiful 
blue, iridescent blue. Yep. That's a nice car too, isn't it? There's so many nice cars. I yes. mean, that's the thing. You go to an event like Motor X, and no matter what you're into, whether you're into drag racing, whether you're into, you know, circuit racing, yep. drive cars, collectible cars, there's pretty much something for everybody. Yep, absolutely. All the new model stuff. Yep. Proud owners, wiping it over. Having a yarn. Having a chat, yep. You had the butter menthols in your pocket at events <laughs> like these, Dale, yes. to keep the voice lubed up, yep. keep it going. Yep. There's a lot going on. That's a very big Simmons wheel. <laughs> it's a very big, I was looking at that thinking. Is it 22s? And it's, I'd have to be that big, least, surely. Yep. 20s, 20s look small these days on some of these cars. Madaro, it's a and GTI. Yeah. Unusual, I don't know that I would have put silver with yellow, but that doesn't look too bad at all. It's very yellow. It is. <laughs> it's feet literally like the Bambino it, it yellow. It does mate. look Bambino like, yes. Now, I've seen this car a couple of times, I think, and it might even still. I don't know whether it's still on at this time, it had a P plate or not last time I've seen it. Which you've got to wonder how, but there's a lot happening and you, you pointed out to me, Dar, with the, the induction through the headlight. Yeah, through the driving light. Yeah. Port of the passenger side. Yep. A few custom bikes. Mm. Polishing those spokes wouldn't be fun. When we went up to Comp Coat to do the um, ceramic coating, they had a lot of Harley parts, like so yes. these wheels, whether they're a billet wheel. Yep. And they were powder coating them to that sort of level. Wow. And the the way that's all moved along, mm. you know, powder coat used to be for fences and you know yep. pull fences and stuff, yep. but the quality of what they're achieving now is quite amazing. Now, this is really well done, the patina on that. Yeah. Well, I've had a bit of a move. I know that they were calling things over on the stage where the boys from um, Boss XC were meant to be, and I was sort of probably a bit caught up with some of that while I was trying to film this because my week, my weekend was pretty full. Yes. And Dale was trying to keep me on the straight and narrow because we got a film and then we had presentations and yeah. then. And Howard was doing meet and greets on the Purple Juice stand, so. It was a pretty was busy couple of days. Lots going on. That's a cool looking thing with the, I like the mat underneath it just to add a bit of colour into it. Yep. And I know I was taken by this at Show Cars Melbourne as well. Yeah, I was yeah. pointed out to you with the yep. helmet and all. Yep, for sure. Is it a little bit more out in the open now? You couldn't sort of see it that well at Show Cars, but. And I might be wrong, but I think that fits in the bobber term. Okay. The class is a bobber. Yep. It's a big front wheel. So then of course there's a, a few more traders in this hall and, and um, the rod shop, the old Castlemaine rod shop, yep. was um, had a big display of all of the things they're doing now. You can put anything into anything pretty, pretty much, much nowadays. Yeah, yeah, it's... And all of their kits, front end kits, rear end kits. Yep, you mentioned before about the wiring of different things. Yeah, and you can got, see in the background there, you, can, you know, get the pipes and all that sort yep. of stuff. So it's, it's really much you can tick the box and build yourself a yep. nice car. And of course War Warbird, that's been around quite a few years now. Look at the size of that blower, <laughs> 1471 or something. Huge. So that's a pretty good time to be rounding things out, Dale. So we'll finish up with a little Tirana with the Ferrari engine. And of yep. course these guys have got their own channel. And you can sort of follow that on there. But I'd like to thank Lovells and thank yourself as well, Dale, for coming away with me and putting no, in the time. It was time. a great, great weekend and, and good to see everyone there that we, we caught up with. Yeah, so um, until next time, thanks again, Dale. Yep, thanks, Howard. And we'll catch you on the next one, guys.